visual stuff like with photographs and everything like what, like what we do. We're very much into that. Okay, brilliant. That ends that turtle's little bit so white. I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Just going to put a little bit in there. Yeah, you can never really overestimate like the uh, how much white and black you put into things. It's kind of very core. I mean, obviously there is a fair bit of colour in this with them being like a sea turtle, and there's lots of teals, there's lots of creams, browns, turquoise. But you can't really underestimate it because you need to create that illusion of depth, and that's what light and that's what light and shadow do. That's what tone does. So you kind of got to put put a lot into it. Make sure it works. Works for you guys. Uh, I think. In a minute, I might actually go in with some very light. Oh, it's gonna be a bit, a bit of black. I think I need some black in this. In places. Just to make it more solid. And, uh, and we'll get in there slowly. Let's put that tip in there. Really crisp it off. So we've got a very defined shape to work with. Because I wanna make sure that these feet are in the background. Well, I want the feet to be in the background. But I want the flipper to be forward, you know, so he's kind of coming right at you. Once again, it's working with depth. Let's we'll see what we can do here, try and make it a bit more crisp. There we go, that's getting it. Perfect. I think some transparent brown would, wouldn't go missing here, and I say that lightly, I don't really use much transparent brown, but I think we need it in the top of the turtle shell to give it that leathery kind of look. I'll put that in there in a minute. When we go back to spraying it, put a little bit more on the face, just needs a little bit more. And then we'll add some darker tone before we go with the uh, we'll go with the browns, I think. A bit more detail in it. That'll be lovely. Yeah, back the eye in as well in a minute. That shin. Shin's looking alright, he's got a big bump. That's his bump there. Is he more of a, yeah, that's the kind of the spear shape that we need for the head. Because it's kind of like an arrowhead, like the curve is, and he's kind of kind of a fat chin, like me. So put that in there like that. That's the way. Yeah. We're getting there. This side as well. That's where the light would hit him as well. This side of the shell. It's important to put that in maybe a bit more dramatic. I might go with some gloss in a minute as well, because gloss really helps. Like just kind of your regular sort of household gloss. I also use a lot of enamel paint as well, like kind of radiator enamel is really good for like very, very bright whites. It like really makes it pop. Put a little bit in here like that. Work it this way. That's the way. Yeah, we're getting there. It's very different like seeing it here and seeing it on the screen. It's cool to kind of see how it's like progressing from a distance. I quite like that. Yeah, we're getting there. That end of this needs to come out a bit. What we'll do is we'll put that in later with different tones, I think. We need blues, I think. Blues and very light sort of greens, teals. Uh, a lot more spray paint can go into this as well where we need it. We're kind of getting a kind of a, a really good bit of definition here as well of where this shell is and where it ends, where it joins to the body. This is not like a very kind of thick particular line like what, what you get with um like with cartoon drawings. So with the Ninja Turtles, it's kind of a very defined line with it being a cartoon of where the shell begins and the body is, but this is kind of a very soft sort of blend that you'll have to do with colour, otherwise it'll look too animated and I don't really want that with this project. I need to look more traditional and more organic. Kind of like, more realism. I'm pretty sure that when uh, Del comes up the week uh, on Monday, he'll probably jump on this and do a few more great bits because he's fantastic with his realism work, like in his subtlety. With me, I'm more kind of dramatic like putting things in and just hope for the best but we're getting there we're getting what we need out of it out of the project yeah decent light source here this side needs to come up a little bit more it's just defined here it pops out a little bit here and there and then it just falls in the skin like that, like that. And also with this, I'm not going to be concentrating too solidly on every tiny little detail because it's meant to be seen from about two or three metres up above curved, so I don't really want to be doing a whole lot with that. It doesn't really need it too much. What we do need is, though, we need a little bit of lighting in this side of the fin. It's on the other side where 
the sunlight would hit it in places just to define it a little bit more like where he's got his flippers and just flick it in a little bit to give it that kind of that effect that domed curved effect yeah a bit more down here and right to the tip of his fin there we go lovely that's not looking too bad now got some definition coming into him uh, yeah, took it off in as well. We'll come up about here and it'll be broken up slightly by the very light browns going in. I think I might mix up a very light brown now actually and just put a little bit of detail into him into this thing. Maybe concentrate on a bit at a time, kind of paint by numbers. So you got the you got the correct colour, so you may as well work it one after the other. Um this video is brought to you by San Miguel. Um my dad drinks it. Nice stuff. I'm not sponsored by them. Maybe one day. A little bit of this in here. Just put a little bit of brown in with me white like that. Just regular will goes white. I'm gonna mix it up slightly so we get this kind of a very light kind of tan sort of leather colour. Mmm, it's a bit sort of pinky. I don't know, maybe a little bit of yellow in here as well, just to kind of just to separate it off. Good thing about uh, brands of uh, acrylic as well is they all mix together. You could be having a Wilco's brand, you could be having a Reeves brand, you could be going with the uh, Windsor, Newton, you can mix it together, doesn't matter. It all kind of works really well together. And it all dries the same. Oh. If anyone's got any more questions as well, feel free for asking. No problem, Dale. Mention you anytime, buddy. You're absolutely brilliant. I'll see you on Monday. Brian Trinity, how you doing, mate? I will get back to you very soon about doing your Lancaster bomber on the wall, but at the moment we're absolutely like loaded with work. But we will sort you out as soon as we can, promise you. Anybody else who's sat waiting for work, I'm very sorry, we will get back to you. It's just crazy at the moment. I've become quite popular very, very quickly and um, I'm, I don't know, I don't really know how to cope with that. Okay, so this is our kind of tan sort of colour here. Get this right, and you'll get it put in properly. So, we are looking in the side of the neck, top of his head, and in his flippers, just to the side of it, to put the very kind of light scaliness to him that we need. So, I'm going to be flipping little bits in here and there, just to make him pop. I want to keep it quite gentle and quite easy with this guy, because there's little bits of brown that you flip back in as well. I'm just going to be putting it in quite loose. There we go, just to give him that detail that he needs, just little bits in, in his skin, the kind of rectangles and triangle like diamond shapes I think kind of go over it I think what we'll do later as well as I'll go in with the spray paint again and just darken bits up where we need it just here and there little bits just to make them pop that's not bad that's not bad like I said just quite loose quite easy because it's based off a reference image but I don't want to make it like exactly as it is just to kind of base it loosely yeah, it just needs to kind of come and fade out a little bit in places. There we go. Yeah. You just fade these into each other. It's very, very light and very soft. Just to give it that, that look. You probably need it. Just so it's all going to not as set up as, with, as I'd like it to be. That's not a bad start. I kind of flip this out like that. And just to keep these lines in between a little bit, because there are a few lines that need to be...